Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin and Cardano. Bitcoin and Cardano is still moving sideways, but I do expect a move very, very shortly because we can see that various cryptos, pretty much as forecasted, are moving into their target areas now. For example, Ethereum is moving up, Solana is moving up. I made a video on both yesterday um, that I do expect here further price increases into my target area and I will update these videos very soon. But because they are doing it, I would expect it for Bitcoin and uh, Cardano alongside as well, because Cardano is at the moment following Bitcoin. So I would expect it for Bitcoin, especially because um, Bitcoin is currently here, basically making a series of higher lows as well. So just recap where we're coming from. We are in this um, here A, B, C correction, where I would expect the wave C primarily to drop below 28.7K. There are other scenarios where necessarily Bitcoin doesn't need to drop below that level, but I would still expect um, another sell off, another drop, okay? And to do that final drop, we need to move a little bit higher in my view, we need to get into this yellow target area, which is sitting between 40 yeah, and 39K and 43.3K. The 43.3K would be the ideal target level for that retracement. We are in a wave four, and that is all based on the Elliott wave method, where you have five waves within, um, and we are currently in a wave four here. And the wave four is always a corrective wave, which means it goes against the trend. And then you have a final wave five, which goes into the direction of the trend. But then here we should see the turnaround. Yeah. So at the moment, what we can observe here is that Bitcoin moved out of this channel to the downside, but we didn't really see a, you know, a major breakdown or something. So what makes me makes me wonder, though, do we have here something else going on? Do we have here a different pattern? Does it, did it move? Did it shift? Do we have something like that maybe? Even though here I only have pretty much like two touch points or nothing really, um, yeah, a bit like a, a decent ascending broadening wedge, which we had before, which is also sort of a bearish pattern, which could drop to the downside. Um, but what makes me, yeah, think that is, I mean, here up there, you've got more than two touch points here, possibly as well with, here one and then you've got a series of touch points here so it's pretty much a valid pattern a bit strange one but it's possible and what we're doing here is a low a higher low and another higher low and with this higher low here we're now trying to move down again the, the, the buyers are put or the sellers are pushing the price again away from this um 39k level or to be very accurate 38.7 or 38 point yeah 38.8 and um, it seems like, and that's what we now need to see, seems like the, the sellers can't push it away that much anymore, okay? And that would indicate that we're building up for a breakout here. And if we test that more often, it could be likely that we're actually going to get through here, um, especially because normally you could call it a triple top, but first of all, we're not really in a, um, we're not in an uptrend, so that's why normally a triple top would be very meaningful. We're actually in a downtrend where you have a triple top is actually an indication that we might break through here, especially as the latest top is a bit higher than the previous ones. Um, not necessarily the wicks, but the candles when they were closed. You can see this one that closed um, here. Yeah, the previous one on the four hour chart that closed higher than the previous one. So good indication that we actually could push through here. If that price is pushing down, we could find support at this ascending trend line, and then we could push higher. So I would expect, and I stay with that um, forecast at the moment, that we are going to break through here at some point. And um, even if we break this trend line here, the ascending trend line, where today we'd have a level of around 37.6K, yeah? If you lose that level, then yes, we can see further lows, but we should, um, as long as we don't break below 33K, everything's still, every option is still on the table, right? So primarily, just to summarize, I would expect here a breakthrough, uh, imminent, well, imminently or at some point today, probably, yeah, or tomorrow, a breakthrough here through this target range, um, 38.8K, yeah, it's gearing up for that. Of course, I could be wrong with this, just my view, but looking at what the other cryptos are doing and um, Bitcoin generally, you can see it here pushing higher and higher and Ethereum already made it into its own target area. I would expect Bitcoin as well to do that. 
and when it's doing that i think we can um, expect a bit of a price jump but that is then where everybody needs to be careful because you know the downtrend isn't over then yeah the downtrend isn't over even if we move all the way up to 43k even if we break this descending trend line it wouldn't necessarily be over not according to the Elliott wave method so something to be aware of um, a lot of cryptos will jump a lot of altcoins will jump massively when bitcoin pumps above 43k uh, above 40 or above 38.8k yeah i think a lot of cryptos will jump massively um, and that is then when a lot of people are going to shout the downtrend is over just be aware yeah of course it could be the case i don't expect it to be over could be the case but that's where a lot of people will probably be wrong um, but again i could be wrong as well you know it might be over but i don't think so I don't think so i think we're gonna see another sell-off of course if i see an impulse forming here on the chart or anything i'll let you know but to be fair even if we if we break above 38.8 all of it would be would be in line with my predictions or forecast because i do expect primarily a move up to 43.3 before we see another move down and cardano would be in line with that it's still in its pattern so i'm not gonna spend too much time on it still in his triangle but also cardano is moving very very close now to the completion here or into the apex and a breakout is also imminent it hasn't really moved um together with other cryptos here in the last few days because it's been in this pattern basically caught in this pattern a symmetrical triangle typically a neutral pattern you would normally suggest or assume that it's more likely to break to the downside in a downtrend in which we are you know, if I zoom out, we still have this descending trend line. We actually have a channel at play here also for Cardano, very similar to what we've got for Ethereum. Um, and it could be that Cardano has already done its way for, yeah, that um, what other cryptos are still doing, that Cardano really has done its way for already. And what makes me, or what confirms that actually is that, in my view, Cardano was earlier in the correction anyway. So Cardano has possibly here done the way for starting on the 10th of January, whereas Bitcoin, for example, started its correction on the 24th of January. So Cardano is a bit, or uh, its way for, Cardano is a bit earlier anyway, and was earlier with starting the general correction here anyway, throughout. So um, yeah, it's not unlikely that Cardano could really have seen the way for yet, and now it is already in its final wave five, which might then also suggest that Cardano could start the uptrend earlier, but, we can't really say until we see it right can't really say so um yeah we're waiting here also for the breakout and i expect something also possibly today here because it can't really move much longer like that um if we see the the bollinger bands you can just see how <laughs> how, how tight they get and whenever you see that the bollinger bands tightening up like that yeah pretty much like here it was around the beginning of january you see a big move, you know, you see a big move. Typically you had it here as well, but it remains just tightening up, you know, price caught in a pattern. Then there will be a breakout. Um, typically when the Bollinger bands get broken and here it was to the upside. So whenever they get smaller and smaller here as well, you can see a big, big move afterwards. Yeah. And I think I expect that this time as well, because the price is getting squeezed into an apex and really, um, they're getting very, very small. So currently here in the Bollinger Bands on the four hour chart, moving in the upper half, um, seems like we tried to break out here, failed so far, probably have another move down. So it's just something to be very, very aware of. And um, yeah, it will be interesting what's gonna happen here in the next few um, hours and days. All right, hopefully you like the update about Bitcoin and Cardano. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And if you really like the content, maybe join as a channel member. And you can do that on YouTube or on my website. And for all of them, you can find a link in the description. And then you can get access to Telegram, Discord, and um, a weekly live stream. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.